Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarender. And today we're going up against a Finnish player named Stardasher. And he's one of my longtime followers, and he's a quite formidable battler. So if you haven't challenged him before, make sure to do just that on Twitter. Name Stardasher, like I said there. And we had actually two previous battles where I haven't uploaded due to them being on my capture card device. Which obviously yet to come home, and we're still waiting for it. But it was definitely the same team, so I was kind of knew what I was going into. Uh, he is, like I said, quite formidable, and um, looking at his team here, we got quite the team <laughs> that I should go up against. We got a Sismatoad, Steelix, Sork, the Monster, Sork, Lipod, Sotu, and of course the Valplume. So quite formidable and quite dangerous, to be honest. And um, yeah, I myself using a Wigglytuff. Oh yeah, uh, Caracosta, Mesprit, Scrafty, um, Hillisk, and a Carnivine. Yeah, I really want to use one of those for quite some time, and uh, yeah, this was the time to do just that. Um, you'll see how that works. It's quite trolly, it's not the uh, usual set, and for good reasons, and that goes for the Wigglytuff too. So, yeah, anyway, um, just have it said really... I was really expecting him to either start off with Steelix or the Valplume, so I really felt that Wigglytuff might be my best lead, because if you lead with the Valplume, I know he's going to go for Lead Siege, and, uh, you know, the reason you do that is because, well, Wigglytuff got a huge HP, so you kind of lure him in and hope that I can actually pull up a knockoff. Uh, but that's about it. I have no, like, real game idea. I really hope I just stand a chance against this team, because it's quite formidable, and... Uh, the Pokemon that packs a punch is not going to be used very well in this battle, as you will see. But anyway, let's get to it. So yeah, he actually starts off with the um, with Valplume, which is great, because like I said, there, I, I know he can't resist going for Elite Seed, so I'm just going to go for Knockoff. And uh, the reason he goes for Elite Seed is because I got a lot of HP. Uh, there's really nothing to lose, it's quite a good play to do just that, and I do expect him to go for a sludge pro from this range. And I'm just gonna bring my Scrafty because it has um, at least good special defense and I got bull cap on it, but it actually goes for a stun sport which I did not expect. Uh, luckily for me I do have the shed skin, so I hope I can kind of work around it. So he's gonna set up another lead seed, but do miss, which is extremely lucky. Um, and as you guys see I have sped up things here because this was actually quite a slow game. Uh, it took some time before we break each other's course, so it's, like I said, a little sped up. Uh, I do get fully paralyzed here, but no matter, Shetskin is here, and uh, he's starting to fear that I can set up quite effortlessly against him, and uh, he has yet to attack with the Sludge Premier, so he decides to switch out. I myself just went for a knockoff, expecting him to switch out, of course, and, well, boom. I don't do that much damage though, but he does lose leftovers, and I do expect this thing to be quite defensively bulky. So, from this range, there is really nothing I can do. Uh, I can keep setting up if that's the case. It goes for a toxic, even though he saw my shed skin, and I decided to just keep going. I mean, I don't know if he has uh, physical moves or special moves at this point. So, shed skin hit skin, and of course, lead seed is gonna keep annoying me. A lot of lead seeds in this game, you're gonna see that. That's gonna be one of those things that gonna keep coming. So he goes for a skull here, and it doesn't do too much. And uh, I go for a green punch, and nom nom nom. We're back in business. So, <laughs> anyway, I actually did decide there that I'm not gonna. I have rest on this Scrafty, but I really felt that um, it would be too stolly for me to kinda do, go that range. I decided to just go for a knockoff, try to really really finish it up once it turned back into this Valplume because I knew it was going to go for a sludge bump and I knew I could tank that out quite well but I was feeling like I said there that it's not the funniest thing to do what I'm doing right now so I'm just going to fodder off my sludge bump I have nothing real to switch in either so I felt like that was probably my safest bet to get some damage on that Valplume and then just fall and um, yeah like I said the reason I'm doing that is because I really felt that this was a bit too stally and uh, it just it wouldn't prove to be a good battle to upload if I'm just going for bull cap rest and just troll with him. So anyway, I'm going to Mesprit, which is a scarf set, and I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam because uh, I really knew, I knew it was going to switch out and Ice Beam hits hard on everything on his team actually. So it was a very safe bet for me and uh, obviously I'm not going to stay in here. And uh, I'm just gonna go into my Azulog, my K 
Karak Costa, while he is gonna switch out <laughs> actually to uh, expecting me to go for an Ice Beam and to actually try and tank me out. Well, I knew that he's not, he's gonna probably switch into his Sesmito because of the War Absorber and whatnot, so I just went for Stealth Rocks. I knew that he wouldn't try to go into his um, Salt so even if he did, that would be quite impressive, to be honest, but then I would just come for a knock and finish it off. So anyway, going to Dementor, which is the feeder of souls, if you guys have watched Harry Potter. <laughs> Yeah, basically, it's a flowing ghost, you know, who just leads seeds and just feeds on everything, really. And I decided to go for a double switch here, expecting him to bring the Vile Plumes. I'm just gonna go to my Mesper Jet again, and I go and predict him to predict me, of course, that um, I'm not gonna go for a psychic move, which I will do, finish him off. And don't ask me why I have extra sensor on this one. I I should have Psy Shock, but hey, <laughs> who, who cares, right? So we have here, and I did expect, of course, this uh, extra sensor taken out, and um, it's gonna prove that it's close, but had it been Psyjock or Psychic, it probably would have. But Overeat, though, with Specs will, of course, take me out, so yay! Shit, that was not in supposed to happen, because Mesprit was my only real response to his sock. So at this point, I really was like, okay, we have issues now. Houston, we got real, real trouble. Uh, he actually decides to switch out there, expecting an Aqua Jet, even though his, um, his life part is dead by default. But he can get some HP back on his uh, character, or oh, his um, Seismitoes. It's not a bad move at all, actually. And um, I did expect him to set up rocks or go for an Earth Power here, so um, I just went for a move, really. And uh, he actually goes for Toxic, which kinda sucks. My knockoff obviously is not doing any damage, and um, he's going to be forced to go for the power the next turn, which I did expect, so I'm just gonna go to my Dementor, or the Carnivine, the beast, the monster, and um, just float there, cautiously, you know, just looking at this toad. Um, as of now, he doesn't know I don't have any attacking moves, so he's just fearing that I'm going to go for a grass move, but I will not. You know, like I said, I don't have it. He's just gonna scout me by firing off his live pod. And um, I just went for a lead seed homer correctly. Just to uh, really, if you want to stay in, just try to recover. No, I went for infestation. Right. Right. So, anyway, this Pokemon is quite stalled, so that's why I have sped things up. So, it's gonna go to the Randrix. And you know, me being a Randrix or not, you know, that's, that's really, really nicely done. Quite a nice touch and a beautiful, monstrous, glorious Steelix. But anyway, I'll just go for Lead Seed, I'm just gonna force him out really, I'm not gonna go for, like I said, attack move because I don't have it. He is actually gonna go for a rest, I think he was expecting me to hit him with a Leaf Storm and whatnot, which, you know, could be very possible that I'm carrying, but no. Uh, so at this point he is... This Steelix will win this face off, it's gonna be a slow, slow ride, but not as slow as this one, so it's gonna speed up even further. I do go for an infestation here. And in combination with Lead Seed, I am actually able to handle this Sock because he doesn't do enough damage to take me out. And I have Synthesis on this Pokemon, which means that as long as it doesn't score a crit, I can actually manage and just feed on his corpse. It's so beautiful. This combination is so brutal. Um, like I said there, it's probably not the best set for a Carnivine, but it's the one that I'm going with. Because like I said, I wanted to use this Pokemon, and I really felt that this was the scariest way to use it, because it's really, really working well here, and Sork is out! And that is just marvelous now, isn't it? And of course I'm not gonna stay into this Exotu. I know a Heatwave is common, there's no reason for him not bringing it to it. So I'm just gonna go into Gizmo, which is the Wigglesuff, which has yet to see, of course, being battled properly. And he's gonna go for Heatwave, I'm taking that like a boss, because I am as old as dude. And uh, I do pack the knockoff, he's gonna go for Psyche, which does some fair amount of damage actually. And um, knockoff will actually do more. Or I should say enough. So that is sought out of the way. Perfect. Really, really perfect. And uh, the Crow King is coming in. And I'm basically going for damage. I knew I probably wouldn't be able to outspeed, uh, which I weren't. He went for a Toxic there. And I actually went for the Double Edge. Uh, I think a Skull probably will take me out, to be honest. <laughs> I really do. Uh, obviously, Double Edge doesn't do that much damage, of course, but. 
uh, I just run 1 HP and I really really was frustrated with this because it does switch out uh, to his Randrix, the Steelix and I went for another double edge, I do pack the Drain Punch which you know, I can say like this, it wouldn't have done a lot of damage but in contrast to what I'm doing right now, that would probably be the better choice plus I've got another attack move and I would have been able to outspeed the Steelix but anyway, I am forced to go into my hill list which I actually haven't used yet and I do the noob move and go for the surf. I know he's got this thing, and of course I am specs, and I don't have the grass knots, which is awful because he will water absorb that. And uh, yeah, I'm basically forced to switch out, and I'm just gonna fight off my H log, my Caracosta, because it can't do anything against anyone ever, ever, ever. It's. <laughs> It's too bad, really. Had I got the Jeff set, which is the Caracasa set, uh, or the Sweeper set with Caracasa with Shell Smash, it would actually provide a much better usage in this battle than my H Slug is doing. But hell, it's still a fun match. And hell, look at this. I do survive with 1 HP yet again. And <laughs> so, <laughs> it's quite funny, I guess. But of course, the combination with Toxic and whatnot will be more than enough to take me out. So, how will I solve this one? Because I can't really go for Hyper Boys because that won't help. I'm just gonna fake it. I'm gonna go for Surfers for hoping for a god, love of god, that they actually switch out to Steelix. And what do you know? What do you know? It's happened. Steelix is coming in unaware, asleep, you know. Nothing is bothering him. He got a good amount of HP. And nothing seems to, you know, make this Pokemon sad by any means but he at least just had to do it went for the surf smashing the waves to the rusted crust of this steelix and we'll take it out so it was definitely a gamble if you didn't see that had I gone for the surf and gone from the earth power and stayed with his seismic toe that will have been enough to take me out and uh, basically I had to do it I had to do something like that and it really it worked in my favor so the only Pokemon left now is his Seismitoad and I got Hillisk left and of course the glorious monstrous Dementor, the Carnivine, which will just, for the last part of this game, just troll, you know, just living life, missing Toxic and whatnot, and uh, I basically I show Toxic just to uh, show to him uh, my full moveset so you know what he is up against, but now I know Lead Seed in combination with Infestation is uh, with five turns is enough to take out the Pokemon, so that is something to keep in mind next time, really. And uh, probably shouldn't carry Toxic because of that. Yeah, should probably not be carrying Toxic. But anyway, look at this, Carnivine still going at it, you know, back in full HP basically, and just nom nomming on this seismic so which will falter and die finally. Thank you for the soul, Mister. And that is GG Stardasha. So, yeah, like you saw that, guys, it was actually quite a close battle. I was not entirely sure I was going to win this one. And, uh, yeah, my opponent played a great game. You know, no doubt about it. Stardash, like I said, is one of the best ones I do know. And he has to have good reasons. He's just, he's very, very tough to deal with. And he's very, very smart as a player, which means that, yeah, I kind of have to play my A game. And it's kind of tough to do that when you're using Pokemon that aren't... That conventional, but then again, it might just be my edge sometime, and Carnivine proved to be just that. And yeah, just overall, I like this game, and I like that Carnivine got showcased. What a monster! How fun it is to use that Pokemon. I'll probably use it again, but now that the set is out there, I know I have to be kind of cautious <laughs> when I use it and on who. But anyway, guys, you know, of course, as always, thank you for watching. And I really hope you like this set. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, of course. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe because it's a nice place. And remember, guys, the sky is the limit. So, good guys, and take care. Right? Bye.